Hi, this is Tim Burton, author of Statistics in Plain English. And in this lesson, I am going to walk us through um, how to determine whether a correlation coefficient is statistically significant. So let's suppose that we have two variables, um, age and vocabulary test scores, and we'll make age the x variable and vocabulary test scores the y variable. And um, our average age in this sample is, is 8 with a standard deviation of 3. The sample size is 30. Our average score for the vocabulary test is 50 with a standard deviation of 10. And the correlation between age and vocabulary test score is 0 0.40, positive 0 0.40. So on average, as age increases, vocabulary test score also increases, um, which is what we would expect. And this is a moderate, I mean, weak to moderate correlation <clears throat> between the two. So how do we determine whether this correlation between these two variables is statistically significant? And to do that, um, we calculate a t value. Before we can, before we calculate the t value, let's figure out what the critical t value will be so that we know whether our observed t value or our calculated t value is statistically significant. Correlation um, tests are always uh, two-tailed, so let's use an alpha level of 0.05. And the degrees of freedom for a correlation is the number of pairs of uh, scores, so that would be the number of cases, minus two. So degrees of freedom So with 28 degrees of freedom, an alpha level of 0.05, and a two-tailed test, um, we can use Appendix B right here to figure out what is our critical T value. So I'm just going to look this up. 28 degrees of freedom, two-tailed test, alpha level of 0.05, our critical T value is 2.048. Okay, now we can calculate an observed t value and see whether that is statistically significant. Um, So that's the formula that we would use to calculate our t value. It is the correlation coefficient times n minus 2 on top over 1 minus r squared. Um, and we take the square root of that. r is 0.4. R squared is going to be 0.16. 1 minus R squared is going to be um, 0.84. Okay, so now that we have that, let's use our calculator and we'll divide 28 by 0.84. And then we'll take the square root of that and we get 5.77 and then we can multiply that by 0 0.40 and we get 2.308 So that is our t-observed value, 2.308. And when we compare our observed value to our critical t-value, we see that our observed value is larger.
And that means that our observed t-value is statistically significant. That tells us that correlation coefficient that we found in the sample of 0 0.40 is a statistically significant correlation coefficient. And with that, we can make a conclusion about the population. In the population, there's a significant correlation between age and vocabulary test scores. As age increases, vocabulary test scores go up on average in the population. And the population would be whatever population our sample represents. So if it is children of a certain age, um, that's our population. If it's children of a certain age from a certain place, that's our population. Um, so that is how you determine whether a correlation coefficient is statistically significant.